Hello! Well, this is a very difficult video to make, especially uh, because we say that this year we're going to focus on positive vibes and positive energy. But I feel like I owe you an explanation. Last year, May, about the same, about the time that we celebrate Africa Day, uh, maybe a couple of days before or about that time, I got an email uh, from pat at kaira.com to participate in our webinar discussing, um, you know, matters Africa. Actually, in the email, I did see some other content creators I know and other, you know, other people who are all for Africa or who are pro Africa. I saw the likes of Virtue Grace, the likes of Ayo Kimathi, Hadija Well, Hadija Ward, T West. Like all these people were participating in the webinar. So when I got that email, and because I'm very passionate about the continent, well, I responded to the affirmative. I accepted to participate, to be a panelist, to be a panelist in the webinar. Well, that's how I got to know Pat Hadley, Patrick Hadley, the man whom I say has calmed me. About that time too, uh, Pat also joined uh, my Patreon. You know, I was talking about offering Kiswahili classes on Patreon and other videos. So Patrick joins uh, my Patreon at five pounds per month. He approaches me and he tells me on Patreon, he tells me that, oh, he likes that I'm offering a course and he would be interested if we can uh, discuss on how to make it better so you see the people who join my patreon I listen if you have a suggestion I'm open to listening and if I feel it's something that's going to add value well I go for it so uh, he shares his phone number uh, we talk on whatsapp we discuss and then he, he suggested that we create a course or uh, uh, create a website africantigress.com and offer the course so i told him uh, i would want us to create or something that is seo searchable and something that is you know can reach a wider audience so i suggested that the best name to use would be lankiswahili.com so actually the website's name lankiswahili.com is my idea he said the best way to start is just by starting to create the videos and then uh a mistake i did there is agreeing accepting because maybe i was too trusting um accepting to participate in the course without like really solidly discussing on the finances for me uh, my aim was to at least create something that can have an impact and because i'm so passionate and i've been doing this on patreon so i wanted us to create something and then of course uh we because of the time and the research and everything involved we would be able to you know charge a small fee for people to access the course for a lifetime and i felt that that would be more beneficial to the people because this is something that they can access for a lifetime so we started we kicked it off uh, we started creating the course and I think along the course while creating the course we did talk about uh, finances so we had talked about an equal partnership we had talked about an equal partnership but he said no let's just keep creating we'll talk about finances don't worry we cannot disagree on finances and I made another mistake by just accepting when I brought up the finances issues I was like no let's just create fast and all that so before we started creating the course he told me to look for another person to participate so in making of this course we are going to simulate a class so i'll be the center as the teacher and then we'll have one student and him so at this point i needed to get a female student because we already had a male student i put the post on my community post and melissa reached out to me and i was like cool she was willing and she was you know she was ready to learn and all that so i was like Cool. so we got Melissa as the other student and we started recording the course during this time that you are recording the course I did bring up the issue about finances and the distribution how we're going to do it but he said that no let's just create the course first we cannot disagree on finances and all that I mean it's, it's going to be something very awesome we cannot disagree on finances and he kind of brushed it off. I think I brought up the issue about two times, but he was more concerned on, like, let's just get the course to finish or to finish recording the course first. And uh, that's a mistake I've done. I should have insisted at that time that we have to have everything streamlined, finances agreed, and, you know, before we even proceeded at that point. So we started the recording from about July or August during lockdown. So I was 
creating the course basically like that is what took my whole lockdown time i was not even able to pro uh to better create content i i stopped the daily live streams i think some of you might have joined me when i was doing the live streams but i was no longer able to do the daily live streams because i was always researching creating teaching and editing and talking of editing i was not supposed to be editing the course how we had agreed is that for me i will research and teach for him we will do the editing and the technical part which is coming up with our website and uploading their content and yeah and marketing he would also participate in marketing for me i was not supposed to be doing editing so when he recorded the first class uh during editing he was not able to edit anything alone because he does not understand kiswahili he does not get it very well and he was making a lot of mistakes so he reached out to me to help him in editing most of the time we were recording on monday wednesday and friday so because he was not able to edit alone so i had to always be available on tuesday and thursday to edit the course and editing was really not easy at all because he's the one on the other side with the computer uh typing and i'm the one telling him no 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 katia do this no you've written that wrong no write this do this so i was the one actually instructing him on everything to do when editing because he does not get the language he was making a lot of mistakes while editing so he reached out to me actually uh to help in editing it took a lot of time sometimes i had to be available like from the whole day or from the time i woke up up to 8 p.m kenyan time so just to edit so a lot of people who are reaching out to me during that time they know very well that i told them i was creating the course and it was taking a lot of my time uh, at that time i was even uh participating in creating content for africa diaspora news channel i was not able to continue doing that because this course creation was like really taking like the whole time monday to friday and sometimes even on weekends i had to take time to research well we created the course and we finished before the launch so before the launch i asked him if i could go through the course because i want to offer something that is perfect uh those one of me kind of know that i'm a little bit perfectionist and if i'm offering something out there i always give my best so i told him he was like ah no because i spotted some errors while we are editing or sometime later i would uh, after we edit and we go back to the course to find out where we stopped to continue i noticed that he still made some errors so i had to I, i had to ask him to allow me to access the course in order to be able to ensure we are giving out something perfect out there I was like no you know it's late so let's just launch it and immediately after launching we are going to correct the errors not the errors so he created some spreadsheet i i noted some errors and uh in order for him to edit because he cannot edit alone i have to be there so at that point he went ahead and we launched the course and immediately after the launch i reached out to him to tell him that uh we need to correct that but before then i noticed something we launched the course in november but a few days before we launched the course uh, he sent me some link and i asked me what is i asked him what is it he didn't tell me uh, it's a contract or it's a, an agreement because i didn't see any terms there were no terms at all it's a link he sent me he told me to click on it i asked him what does this 4060 mean he didn't tell me what it is he's like oh i'm just trying to set it up ready for the launch so i uh, don't worry just click uh, uh, click on i think it was i don't know if it's okay or accept but there were no terms there are no like it's just something uh thrive he used some site called thrive so that site he didn't put any terms so i didn't even know that i was actually signing a contract at that point because i knew he was done dealing with the, the website and all that so i thought this was actually something that was going to be part of the website creation and all that so i just click uh, accept so a few days later we launched the course so in the morning session he, 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 he mobilized people nobody signed up for the course so later in the evening i mobilized people and we had a couple of people signing up for the course so when uh after the launch we done with everything i, I got email notifications some drip notifications i click and then it takes me to that thrive website so it shows the percentage of money i've received and then i try to calculate and then i realized that he had taken 60 percent and me 40 percent i asked him like uh why 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 are we taking like 60 40 then at that moment patrick changed completely he changed he became 
<laughs> someone like it's as if I never knew him that's the time when I came to know like his true colors he just changed when I asked him then he now started saying he spent a lot of time he has I don't know how many years experience and uh, I don't know he started giving excuses I don't know he spent amount uh, what amount of money to create the website to buy I don't know what tools and I told him it's okay you spent a lot of time i've also spent a lot of time in fact i've spent double the time because every time you are editing i have to be there i have to create research you are not involved in content the research creating the workbook i did all that i'm the one teaching so i've even spent more the time than you've done so for you you're talking about time what about my time so he was actually kind of very condescending he was talking about um he was talking about that, oh, I'm very young, that's why I don't understand these things, he understands these things. If somebody wanted to hire him for his experience or his skills, he also started saying that he had spent a lot of money uh, to build the website because he had used website builders, you know, because he can't code, so he used the... Uh, there are these websites that offer you pre-existing templates that you can actually use and build your website easily. And I told him, the recording application that we used for the course was actually mine and it was also bought it was not a free because it's a bought app we used StreamYard to record uh, the course and I told him the best thing that we could do at that time is to you know bring uh, on the table bring on the table the amount of money that you spent building the course and I would also bring the amount of money I've also spent as well as we will quantitate my time because I've done the research, I've created the workbook, this is a workbook, I've created all that, we'll also quantitate that and after that, uh, after we've brought all this, then we can be able to fairly or equally distribute the, the, the expenses and also uh, be able to earn at least 50-50% and be able to earn equally from the cost. Uh, he got mad and he told me he was not going to speak to me he would get back to me the next week and i told him what about the people uh, what about the cause i mean you said you are going to uh, uh, correct the errors immediately after the launch so if you're not going to talk to me how are we going to correct the errors because there are some errors here and there and he never responded he ignored me like Anytime I could reach to him, he ignored me. I tried telling him, it's okay, we can have the differences, but let's correct the course, and then we're going to discuss on the financial disagreements that we are having. And he ignored me, he didn't want to talk to me. For me, I was really disappointed at this point because I feel like um, my brand, my reputation is in line. I mean, if I'm offering a course, I don't want to offer something imperfect. I want to offer something that's gonna be perfect and helpful to the people. So he ignored me, he refused to talk to me, he was just ignoring me. And any time, any attempt, any time I could write him a message, he would ignore me. And this is the same person in the previous we've been talking. I would send him a WhatsApp message and he would respond almost immediately. So he suddenly became too busy. And uh, well, I tried all the time I was trying to reach him. It was very hard to reach him. So in February, when I was in Tanzania, he sent me an email and I also called him. In the email, he was talking about uh, introducing a new teacher and he's now creator, he's not going to create Kiswahili 202, learn Kiswahili 202 with a new teacher. I was like, what happens to 101? What happens to what we created? And what happens? In fact, there was no agreement where we say that there was going to be another teacher on the platform so it's not as if i was working for you that's what i told him i was not working for you to be one of the teachers offering course on a platform learn kiswahili was supposed to be a partnership it was supposed to be a website that both you and i own that's what we had agreed verbally and uh, there's, if we were to introduce any teacher it would have been something that you i have to also know because Everybody who's been watching me knows Lam Kiswahili. A lot of times I even see people mention me on other people's platforms like, oh, if you're moving to Tanzania or if you're moving to Kenya, African Tigress is offering uh, Kiswahili and they put lamkiswahili.com. Every week I'm getting emails from people asking me about the course and I don't have the perfect answer to give them. Uh, I have people telling me that they're trying to cancel their subscription. I don't know how to respond to them because I don't have access to their website. I don't have access to Learn Kiswahili. 
he created Lang Kiswahili to two without consulting me, without me knowing. He said, he said, uh, I, when I was trying to talk and explain to him, he said, I don't know anything. I should not, I, I should sit and listen because he knows what he's doing. So for me, I should just sit and listen now. And I'm telling him, okay, I've listened. So can I also talk? He's like, no, you should not talk because all you need to do is listen. Well, you know, that's very condescending. But anyway, so some few weeks ago, one of you sent me some items to Kenya via the other teacher because I think uh, people believe that I'm behind the website and probably I'm the one who's hired the teacher. So if they sent the items to Kenya, I'm able to get them, keeping in mind that I'm traveling right now. So they thought like maybe if they send the items to Kenya, I can be able to get them from the other teacher. Unfortunately, I don't know the other teacher. I've never met her. And uh, I asked her, she said, uh, Patrick had approached her to create a course. Patrick has never mentioned about me. She does not know uh, about me apart from when she was sent that items and she had to research to find out that I'm actually a YouTuber and uh, look for my email through my channel. And that's how she was able to contact me. Because of the numerous messages I've been getting across all my platforms from Facebook, Instagram, and even in the comment section of my videos and emails, uh, people asking me about help, they need help within the course. Unfortunately, I'm not able to help. Uh, some, some, some are also asking that they would want to cancel their subscription to Kiswahili uh, 202, the other course that he created with the other teacher, but I have no control over that because he has uh, like kind of locked me out of the course. In fact, at, at a certain point, he was even telling me that I can state the amount of money that I want. So like uh, he can buy me out of the course. Like that was <sighs> like how? So he wanted to give me some uh, amount of money so as to buy me out of the course. I, I, I said I cannot, like I spent a lot of time, I sacrificed a lot of time and a lot of months for him to tell me that I can just say the amount of money I want from the day we launched, the, like the day one, the sales that were made on day one, I can say how much I want from that and it's like he's trying to buy me out of the course. I'm not stupid like that, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I've made a lot of mistakes while creating this course with him, but uh, I'm not stupid like that. For someone to tell me that, uh, I can say how much money I want from the sales made in day one for a course that you've created that is supposed to be or supposed to last a lifetime. So he wants to only give me money from the sales of the of what he made in day one, and he can continue making the you know the rest of the money. Yeah, no, that's you know that's funny. That's laughable. Anyway. So, also, a lot of you have been receiving emails about, I don't know, we are offering trips, you are offering this. No, 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 no. African Tigress is not offering those trips you are getting in your email. Learn Kiswahili is a platform that you are building only for learning Kiswahili. Any other thing that is going to be put there, be it trips or whatever, whichever email that you get, know that you are doing at it at your own risk. Keeping in mind how untrustworthy this man is, you are putting yourself at risk. And if you go and ahead and make any purchase uh, based from the emails he's been sending you, just know that uh, I'm, I'm not behind it. If he scams you, I'm not behind it. Lanky Swahili was only, only, I repeat, it was only supposed to be a platform for learning to Swahili. The trips and other services offers investment or whatever he decides to offer on that Lam Kiswahili platform, just know it's a scam. It's not coming from me. It's not. It's not coming from me. So be very, very careful. Last month, I reached out to a lawyer who wrote him a letter. Patrick was to respond within seven days. He has ignored it. I'm very sure he read the letter. I shared the letter with him on all platforms. All his email, pat at kaira.com, that's the email he first reached out to me, and that's the email we used. All the emails is used to send me messages. We read, we, I sent the letter uh, through that. I also sent him the letter via WhatsApp. It has two blue ticks. So I know very well he received the email, and he just decided, as usual, to ignore and show like he really doesn't care. So based on my lawyer's advice, we are currently seeking legal advice in the UK where he lives and Uganda where he runs, I think, some business, kaira.com. 
Kaira dot com in Uganda. That is the same uh, way he reached out to me. Like he's part Edley of Kaira, Kaira dot com. So even the thing, that thing, the the link he had sent me to click, it was Kaira dot com. So yeah, so we are seeking legal advice in uh, in the UK and in Uganda because that is the only way forward. So for me to come and do this video, and I'm sorry I didn't do it uh, in time to alert you because I thought that maybe this is something that we are actually going to solve. So this is actually got me. It got me to the end. Like uh there's not nothing much i can do because i keep getting the emails i keep getting the questions and i feel a lot uh, more people are at risk of getting scammed by patrick hadley hadley h-e-a-d-l-e-y i feel a lot of people are at risk with the trips and all that because i'm not offering none of that and uh, with the emails and since i'm not able to get in touch with him this is actually the best way i could be able to reach out to you so in case you have any questions about this be free to ask them i'll probably do a live stream to address this and address all the questions and concerns that you have thank you so much for listening and i'm sorry to inform you this a bit late <laughs>